many people, they do not know me, but they know my son. So I will tell you a little bit about myself. I was born in 1760 in the land that we now called South Africa. I was born from the Lagoni tribe and I was given a special name and my name meant woman of high esteem. But, in, but as a young girl, growing up in the land where my womanhood encountered many, many, many atrocities. And in my later years, I became known <coughs> as the great she-elephant. And let me tell you how I got this name. I was known to be fierce and I was quick to crush my opponents. As a mother, you know when your child is in danger, the things that you must do to persevere and to survive. And this is what I did for me and my child. I thrived. And because of my fierceness, my cunningness, my sharp tongue, I instill these same attributes into my child because there was many things that needed to be done. My fierceness came out of the depth of protecting my little one from the enemy's afar and also the enemies that were inside our kingdom for they were many they wanted to eradicate me and my child so there was things that I had to do that no woman should ever have to do and because of the choices that I made sometimes they may not have been good but me and my little one survived. And my son, <laughs> my son, <laughs> my son, he grew up to be one of the most loved and fierce warriors of all time. And to this day, his name is still mentioned throughout history. But because of who I am, because I was his mother, no one hears of me that often. But my relationship with my son was fierce. It was powerful. It was affectionate. It was filled with the love that a mother will have for her child. And when my son became this greatest warrior, the greatest Zulu chief that ever lived. I was gifted power and authority that was unheard of during my time as a woman. My son became Shaka Zulu, the Zulu chieftain. And I, his mother, Queen Nadi, and I say rise, 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 because black history tells no lies. Woo!